20 years later and I finally got the shoes. Today we're going to be talking about the Air Jordan 9 Low Mike Bibby PE. There is so much history and nostalgia when it comes to this sneaker right here, especially to all my OG heads out there in the game and the people that have been collecting for a long time or people that just simply like player edition sneakers. I know for a fact you're going to love this video. So I'll be talking to you guys how much I got the shoe for and where I got the shoe from. But before we do all that, we got to talk about the history first. Mike Bibby is a Jordan brand athlete that used to play in the NBA and no longer does, but he was on Jordan brand for a really long time, played for multiple teams. And throughout those years, we all remember the moments when he played for the Sacramento Kings and his Bibby PEs for that era, because the purple alone is just a nice touch. Mike Bibby signed with Jordan brand back in 1999, along with notable players like Randy Moss, Derek Jeter and Roy Jones Jr. During this time, Jordan Brand was making a huge stance to bring on some of the best athletes in all sports and really dominate the game on and off the court. But before that, we gotta mention back in 1997 when Jordan Brand decided to become their own entity within Nike. Now during that era, we had the original five guys that were signed to Jordan Brand and that was Ray Allen, Vin Baker, Mike Finley, Derek Anderson, and Eddie Jones. So during that time, that was essentially Jordan Brand starting five in 97. And I'm telling you right now, if it wasn't for them, we probably wouldn't have anything that we see today when it comes to the PEs and the player edition things that we love to collect in current time. So I got to give respect to those guys. And trust me, I feel like they need their own video when it comes to PEs and players in the game. So if you guys want to see a real breakdown of the history of PEs, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll make sure I give you guys a nice in-depth video of that. But for right now, we need to talk more about this shoe right here. One thing that not a lot of people know is Mike Bibby liked to play in a lot of low cut sneakers on the court. So when when you see a lot of his models and his different PE versions, they're all going to be more in that low cut style, whether it may be the 12s or the 9s or even the 17s and the more of the three quarter cut, different things like that. You're going to see a lot of different versions more in that low cut style. Yes, he did have higher cut models as well, but overall, I think a lot of people know Mike Bibby PEs for being the low top versions. Now, when it comes to the Jordan 9 model in particular, there are a lot of different colorways and variations, whether you had the purple with the white or even on the back end right here, you see the 23. There's actually another version that has a 10 on the back as well. So not only did they have different colors and cool colorways that were never available to the public, but there were different versions of the number that they decided to use on the presentation of the PE as well with the 23 or the 10 on the side or the back, whatever it is. And then, like I said, with the Jordan 9 low in particular, you had the all white ones, the white and silver pair, you had the black pair. There was a lot of different iterations alone just with this model. And honestly, I love them all. But this one in particular, this is my favorite Air Jordan 9 low Mike Bibby colorway of all time. I know that white and red colorway is clean, don't get me wrong, but this purple, this just hits different. So now that you guys know a little bit more about the sneaker, don't worry, I'll make sure that I get into the in-depth detailed shots of the shoe for you guys. But we need to talk about how I got the shoe, how much I got it for before we get into the details of the sneaker. So when it comes to where I got the shoe from, I got it from the Whatnot app. So if you haven't heard of it, I have the link for you down below. Sign up, that'll get you guys a $15 credit for your account as soon as you sign up. So make sure you hit that link and that'll get you guys all you need to get set up and everything going. But basically on the Whatnot app, it's live auctions. And when you go to their app, Honestly, you have a really high percent chance of finding some dope sneakers for a really, really good price. So in particular on this shoe, we'll talk about price in a second. I feel like I got these for a really good deal, saying based off of the other resale prices that I've seen over the years. So like I was saying, I got these from the Whatnot app and on the app, I actually got these from Soul Steals. So if you guys haven't heard of Soul Steals, I have their link for you guys down below in the description as well. But they also do live streams on the Whatnot app, which makes things even better because I know they're a great authentic seller. I don't have anything to worry about. I know they got PEs and samples and things like that. And then with them doing the auctions on there, there's a high percent chance I can get the shoes for even better price. So honestly, it was a win-win. As soon as I saw they were doing a live stream, I was tapped in the entire time. I was trying to screen record things, but I was so mentally focused on trying to win the different bids. There were a lot of bangers on there. And honestly, there was a couple of shoes that I let slip through the cracks, but it's okay. I will get them eventually. Shout out to Soul Stills. I appreciate y'all as always. But either way, I got this shoe. So now I can officially say, oh, we got this shoe. So I'm sure you guys are probably wondering now, how much did I get this shoe for? I ended up getting these for a thousand dollars. And honestly, I think that was a really, really good deal. Saying that this is an OG classic nostalgic PE and able to get these for a thousand dollars, 
typically when I go to find a dead stock pair of PEs like this from back in the day, it's going to be anywhere from $2,500 to $4,000 on the resale price. But again, they always have really, really good deals on the whatnot app. So like I said, if you guys want to check it out, make sure you guys hit that link in below. You'll get a $15 credit as well. And for me, I'm always on their finance deals and deals because this is how you come up on crazy shoes like this. So yes, I know I could go and resell this sneaker and make some money on it and all those different things, but I got these for the collection. I've been waiting to get these. I have other BBPEs in my collection as well. And all you guys know for me that I, I've been in the game doing this for a really long time. This is one that slipped through the cracks and I'm glad to finally have it. And I'm excited to share this with you guys. So now that you guys know all that, where I got it from, how much I got it for, let's talk a little bit more about the details and everything of the shoe because it may look so simple, but trust me, they did a really, really nice job on this shoe. So starting with the bottom, you have your classic Air Jordan 9 sole, all white right here. Then you got the purple Jumpman on the bottom and then going up to the midsole, same thing, purple Jumpman here. And then you have that metallic purple paint all around right here on the midsole. And then on the upper, you got that purple patent leather with the thick premium white leather on there, a white mesh, silver plastic aglets right here holding the white laces in. And then on the front end right here, you have Air Jordan stitched in purple on a patch. And then behind the tongue, you got all white mesh and a white sock liner, a all white insole and a purple Jumpman on the inside of that. So yes, this shoe is very simple, very clean, but trust me when I tell you this, when you're talking about PEs from 2002, 2003, anything from the early 2000s like this, the quality on these things is so nice. And that's something that I love about collecting sneakers and all those dope aspects when it comes to the classic nostalgic PEs like this. So for me, I'm a very, very happy camper and I'm excited to finally add these to my collection. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. We definitely got a lot of cool pickups when it comes to the PEs. So stick around to the end of the year for my top 10 pickups list because yeah, this might be one of my best ones of the year. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.